Prisons in South America are often known for their brutality and abuse of human rights. However, one such prison in Bogota, Colombia, is changing this image. <laughs> Ya me sacaron las de medicina legal, puchis. La idea de, de, del reinado en las reclusiones de mujeres, porque no es solamente en esta, surge como la idea de pronto de subir un poco la autoestima de las mujeres que están en la cárcel. Eh, ellas en este momento se sienten mujeres y se sienten mujeres bonitas. I left the prison director powdering her nose and followed Richard the guard into the jail. Colombia has a national obsession with beauty pageants, and this was a big day for the prison. The 1,230 prisoners here are regarded as some of the most dangerous women in the country. Their crimes represent many of the continuing problems in today's Colombia. As Richard took me into the six divided cell blocks, one block for each category of prisoner, I found that over 50 foreigners are incarcerated here. They don't find it easy. What's my story? I'm here for getting caught with drugs. I've been here for 27 months and I, miss, I have three years left. How's life here? I'm sick of these people, I'm sick of these food, I'm sick of this water, I'm sick of this weather, I'm sick of the bugs, I'm sick of everything in here. <laughs> I don't like this country, and I don't like the people in it. Excitement was rising in the jail. The waiting prisoners were desperate for the contest to begin. The chosen queens one from each cell block prepared themselves. The moment arrived when the inmates were released. Invited dance and music groups began to play. The prisoners were ecstatic. For 40 years, Colombia has suffered a bloody conflict between guerrillas, government and paramilitaries. Bernardina was a feared paramilitary commander convicted of multiple murders. She believes the conflict continues today purely for economic reasons. Lo que pasa en Colombia es que hay mucho desempleo, mucha hambre. Entonces los muchachos hoy en día una forma que buscan para ellos levantar sus hogares, ayudar o algo, estoy trabajando en las autodefensas en la guerrilla. ¿Por qué? Porque las guerrillas y las autodefensas nos pagan un sueldo y con ese dinero nosotros podemos ayudarle a nuestra familia. Due to the decades of violence, Colombia has the second highest number of internally displaced people in the world. The majority of these women have been displaced and fell into drug trafficking in order to survive. Back at the Beauty Queen contest, a jury consisting of TV soap stars, a celebrity horoscope reader and wives of generals 
were about to decide the winner. The Queens, who made the final three, were a convicted arms dealer, a document forger and a cocaine smuggler. Angie, the arms dealer, won the day. The national press rushed to interview her. She would appear across the evening news. The prisoners decided to run riot and celebrate. Guards danced with inmates, and the jury danced with every beauty queen they could lay their hands on. It was hard to remember that this was actually a maximum security prison. The lives of these inmates portray a Colombia still suffering violent conflict, drug trafficking, and the trauma of millions of displaced people. Beauty pageants cannot solve these women's problems, but they do allow momentary escape for those exhausted by the seemingly endless nature of Colombia's conflict. This is Phil Cox, Morphor News, Bogota.